Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome back to a new vlog. I am Gabrielle. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today is Friday. I think it's March 29th. I believe it's March 29th. Nonetheless, at the last minute, I just finished changing my sheets and I put on some spring colored sheets. So now I feel compelled to put up the spring stuff that I put up in my room because our internet is down and they said it won't be back up until about 12, 15, which I was actually about to start editing a vlog and folding up laundry. So, you know, I like to watch TV when I'm folding up laundry. So therefore I cannot do that because we don't even have no freaking internet. So I just decided, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take these pictures down. And I got another little wall piece over there. Take that down. And come in and talk to y'all. What y'all been doing? I didn't pick up the camera none yesterday. Oh, I did not even pick up the camera none yesterday. Now that I just said that. Where did I go yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. I was ripping and running all day. As you can see, I went and got my hair braided. The lap, Earlier in this vlog, you will see that I went and got it dyed. And then I went to the Dominicans and they did a blowout. It was so silky straight. I hate that I did not pick up the camera and show y'all how my hair looked. For my ladies that are over 40, I'm over 40. I'm a few years into my 40. The night sweats are absolutely terrible. My hair was soaking wet in the middle of the night. Like I had to change my pillowcase. I had to uh, take my scarf off. My scarf was soaking wet. Like it's ridiculous. And I literally sweat from like here up, not here, you know, nowhere else. I don't perspire anywhere else other than just, um, my neck up, my neck be soaking wet, hair be soaking wet. It's ridiculous. So that hairstyle did not last 24 hours. It didn't even last till the next day. Literally, it did not even, it, well, it kind of did in the wee hours of the morning, if you want to count that, but let's be for real. So I went yesterday morning, super, super, super early in the morning. My hair appointment was at seven o'clock because she squoze me in. I wanted the same size braids that I had before that I just recently took out, but she ended up doing this size and I'm actually a little bit more pleased with this size. Just got them like, but, um, I think I'm a little bit more pleased with this size because I can like put it in a bun or, you know, put it in a ponytail, things like that. Whereas the last set of braids that I had were too big. So the only thing I could do was just tie those two back and then, you know, kind of let it do that. But um, I like this size. So this will probably be my little signature hairstyle. It's easy to do. I think my, so my hair appointment was at seven, but I was actually, I was a little late. And then she, like I told y'all, she braid hair at her house. So I was at her door probably about 725 and she didn't even come to the door for another like 10 minutes because I guess she was still getting ready. But nonetheless, she was done with my hair by like 945 because then I had a 10 o'clock nail appointment and I love my nails. Hold on. Let me show y'all the inspiration for, for what my nails was supposed to, what my nails was supposed to look like. Not that I'm disappointed, but I just want to show y'all like. I tell y'all, I love my nail tech. My nails, to me, be looking like press-on nails. Okay, so this was the inspiration. Can y'all see that? That was the inspiration. This is what I got. Let me show y'all both. Like, it is, it's, it's different, you know, like, can y'all, it's not probably that. It's different, but it's so cute. I just think it's so cute. So, please with my nails. But yeah, like I was saying to that, <laughs> she did my hair in under two hours. And when I take this hairstyle down, it might take me less than an hour or so to take this down. So, yeah, but let me go ahead and switch this picture out. And because I didn't talk y'all ears off for four minutes now. All right. So let's take the picture down and see what it's looking like, even though I know what it's looking like. But it just, it just lifts my room up and give it a more bright, airy feeling. All right, y'all.
has been down all day it is 4 59 i did get a chance to edit my vlog for whatever reason i guess because it's, i don't even know because that was god i do know that was god but here it is my ipad is useless because i don't have a hot spot on it um so i'm trying to upload look at this can y'all see that probably so bright this video up here that you can't see can y'all oh y'all really can't see that nonetheless it says hours remaining <laughs> 139 hours because we don't have freaking internet and it is five o'clock they have sent a text talking about the internet would be back up at 12 15 after it was already out since 10 something that morning. Well, this morning. It is five o'clock on the dot. Y'all can't see that either. And it's not even uploading to 1%. And if you know anything about YouTube, there's two, there's two processes that you have to go through. There is the upload process to uploading your YouTube video once it gets uploaded, then it has to process, meaning that basically it's doing the checks and balances to make sure you don't have any copyright infringements or anything that is, you know, not acceptable with YouTube. That's one thing I can't stand about. I don't know what they, I don't know what they're doing around here. I don't see no Xfinity trucks. I don't see nothing. I don't, I keep texting the number that it's, that's texting me and it'll, it'll say like reply back. They just keep saying it's an outage. Um, please be patient, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, it is 2024, 2024. How are we not getting internet or Wi-Fi back online like this? We've had internet long enough, okay, for it to, to, to do what it needs to do within a matter of maybe two hours, okay? I'm not saying that it's just going to snap back with us. You know, it's not a switch. I get it. But at the same time, this has been six hours. People work from home. We literally, no TV, no nothing. I still, I'm still sitting here folding clothes because I just been off and on, like checking my phone, really not even focused on <laughs> doing that. Took my daughter to get her hair braided, went to Publix, and I'm still sitting here with no freaking internet. This is ridiculous and aggravating at the same time. Okay. All right, y'all, I just thought I'd vent with y'all. But I'm trying to get this video. It's supposed to went up yesterday because like I told y'all, today is Friday. I really want this video to go up because I will be traveling. And I know I'm not going to have any signal over the week. I mean, not, well, not tomorrow until later. And by the time I do that, it's going to be too late. So... I'm just aggravated. My daughter pissed me off. I'm just aggravated. All right, y'all. I hope y'all having a good... It's good Friday at that. <laughs> it's good Friday at that. All right, y'all. I just thought I'd let y'all know. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.
Hey y'all, so I am in my closet trying to pack. <laughs> I don't, let me tell y'all around, let me bring y'all in. I don't know, I got some stuff hanging here, which for this trip, because we only gonna be gone like three days, and then like I told y'all, the day that I come back, the following day, I'm going right back out of town for another two days. So for this particular trip, I'm feeling like I want it to be more like, like carefree, um, not doing too much, just kind of more like relaxed looks because in where we going is not, um, uh, I don't want to say it like that, but it's, we've been there so many times. Y'all will see we've been to this place so many times. Um, uh, and I know like, honestly for us, it's not like we have some like extravagant dinner or like some fancy dinner or, you know, anything like that. We don't have anything planned like that. It's probably going to be more or less activities. Like, and when I say activities, I'm thinking like <sighs> maybe renting a golf cart and because you can rent the golf carts and like ride up the strip. Um, what else do they have there that might be something? Because my daughter's friend is going. My oldest daughter is not going. So in place of my oldest daughter not going, I didn't want my youngest daughter to be kind of bored and, you know, with us. So I told her that she can invite her friend, Sydney, one of her best friends, Sydney. So Sydney's going. And they're probably going to be doing their own thing because, like, where our Airbnb is, like it's like within walking distance from the outdoor mall and like this harbor walk that we go on. So, you know, they're going to be, be kind of really doing their own thing. And then my daughter says, okay, that all everybody, they got like this whole big group chat of like, I don't even know. I think she said it was like 200 people in this group chat that talking about they're going to be there too for spring break. So, but I do know that this is a place that, um, Atlanta people go to pretty much all summer starting from spring break all the way to Memorial Day this is the place because like I said we've been here before and y'all gonna see later on in this vlog if it don't come out before um then are y'all crooked okay yeah if it don't come out before but it's so quick to get there it's just like it's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people from Atlanta go here all the time, all the time. Just got this stuff out here. Y'all would have seen this long blue jean skirt that I got from Zara some time ago. This little tank that I got from Target not too long ago. This is an old set from H&M. I don't think I showed y'all this, but I got this little like knit set from Marshalls and it came as a set. I couldn't believe that. And then I just got like some little sweatpants, like um, sweatpants, like shorts. And then I'm going to wear some joggers, some wide leg joggers in this blue jean shirt that you would have seen that I got from Nordstrom Rack. I'm just going to wear that on the road. And actually, I need to figure out what I'm going to wear on the road coming home because it's going to be something comfortable um, and probably just like some pants and a t-shirt like Something real basic because I just be in a car on my way home. So I don't even remember if I showed y'all this, but I'm really hoping that I can pack everything in this weekender bag. I freaking love this bag, y'all. Like it looks like I got a lot, but I really don't got a lot. And this weekender bag is perfect. I, I'll make sure I link it down in the description box i don't remember how much i paid for it but I, i've had it sometime and then like this bottom compartment here this part right here is for shoes like you put your shoes down here so i love that and i'm only bringing three pair of shoes and they're all a neutral color so they all go with everything i am bringing these two pair, I'm wearing these on the road. I'm bringing these, which are the H, the H and M, <laughs> the Hermes dupes from Target, and I've showed y'all these, but they were only oh, okay. 
hair flying doing the most shoe falling but they were only 20 bucks y'all would have seen i'm sure <laughs> everybody and their mama got these on their youtube channel because they are a good shoe though i i think i told y'all this before last year i had the ones from sam edelman and the ones from sam edelman weren't this sturdy i actually like this one these ones a little better and i'm bringing these other hermes dupes but they're at least <laughs> steve madden because you know steve madden gonna put a good dupe out okay but I got these and I'm going to wear these too. Or I'm going to bring these to go with, I mean, pretty much whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I am doing. Hopefully everything will fit in this bag because I don't want to, um, I really don't want to take like a luggage or anything like that. I'll probably take my swimming suit just in case. Only reason I will probably take my swimming suit is because I may want to just lay on the beach if it's warm enough to get me a little tan going because... I need some vitamin D, okay? I need the vitamin D to soak into my skin, bronze me a little bit, energize my immune system or whatever the vitamin D does to your body, baby. I need it, okay? All right. <laughs> pick out a couple of pair of sunglasses now just a disclaimer I don't I mean this is a few pair of shades but I don't have a whole bunch of shades <laughs> okay I'm not I'm not some of the girls they be having a lot of glasses not me though but I think I am going to wear these I haven't worn these yet I got these from H&M when we were in New Orleans yeah, we're going to bring these because I'm trying to think I'm not going to be packing like a whole bunch of sunglasses and stuff like this is just really a fun laid back. Oh, I'm just talking to you. <laughs> a fun type of laid back type of trip. It's not, you know, it's not like that, if that makes sense. Like it's not that kind of trip. You get it? Y'all get it? Okay. Stay with me now. Um, so we're going to bring these because I feel like these go with everything. And honestly, I probably will just bring these because I really don't feel like anything else would go. Um, like I said, I feel like these just go with everything. So I don't really have to think too much about them. So, yeah, we're just going to take these. And maybe I'll wear these on the road. I haven't worn these in a while. I think I haven't worn these in a while because they hurt. Yeah, we'll wear these on the road. Because they kind of match what I got going on. I like to pack my jewelry in this little YSL bag. I don't know where I got this bag from. I want to say what I bought something from Nordstrom. Or maybe Bloomingdale's. I don't remember, but this is what I packed my jewelry in. So let me find an eyeglass case. So this little drawer housed all of um, like my little cases, my perfume things that I, I never use these. My husband bought me these. I got like, I don't even know how many of them. I got about two right here. And then I also have some in my 
in my bathroom drawer. I, I don't know why I got, I got so many of those and I got so many of these from Delta, from H&M. So they did not come with a box. So I'm just gonna try to find a little slim box. This is from my Fendi glasses and we're just gonna stick those right in here. And I already have a clean and wipe in here as well. So this is from my, um, yeah, from my Fendi glasses. So I'm gonna stick those right in there so that I can put them in my suitcase. So sunglasses, check. <laughs> All right, so as far as jewelry goes, um, we're just keeping it simple. We're just gonna keep it simple. These, I've been loving these lately. These right here, I got these from Nordstrom Rack, I think, and they were on a clearance rack for like, I think $11 or something like that. So we're gonna put those in there. Um, I've been loving these as well. These are just my two-tone ones here. And I gotta have like just a, well, we got a regular gold hoop, so we're not doing too much. And then for jewelry, I always have to bring my, <laughs> my everyday jewelry, which is my, um, my initial, my real, this is my real jewelry. So this is why this one kind of is like my everyday jewelry because. This is my real jewelry, my real, you know, diamond jewelry, gold jewelry. And I like, I'm into this layered look, but I don't feel like being bothered with trying to do all of that. So we'll just bring, because I feel like this one is just doing the most. So we're going to bring this one, this little set here. And then I have on the other piece that goes to this. Or actually, you know what? We're not even going to do it like that. We're going to add these two. I think this is how I had it on the other day. Yeah. Uh-oh, my all of y'all grill. <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on. Because this one is just one necklace. So we're going to bring this one. Cause it's easier to deal with. What should I bring? Cause I feel like mm, hmm. Let's bring them and we'll see what works and what don't work. How about that? And we'll grab this little cross right here to give it some some depth <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna just stick our jewelry right in here. And I have on, like I said, I have on one of the necklaces now that I may bring. So we'll just hold off. But I got it all packed up in this little bag right here. And then all I have to do is just put in my personal stuff, like my underclothes. Um, yeah, so now I just have to pack like my underclothes, pajamas, and like, you know, my deodorant and my my um hygiene stuff so got my glasses in here we got our shoes all the clothes fit girl i didn't even what i'm gonna wear home <laughs> hold on y'all me pull my pants up what i'm gonna wear home you know what we're not about to stress out about that we just gonna wear a little nike set home okay i got a nike set that i just washed here on my bed i'm about to pack that in it's it's um thin so it's easy to like just throw in a bag and go. And um, yeah, so I'll see y'all later. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Today is Saturday, travel day, beach day, beach weekend starts today. Is that a cause for a better move? Absolutely. But one thing about it, I get up every day and choose happy. So 
I'm not just happy because I'm going to the beach, my favorite, my absolute favorite place. I'm just happy to be alive and I choose to be happy. Because I didn't get good sleep at all last night. At all. I don't know why I was just tossing and turning. Lately, um, I think my like perimenopause or whatever is really starting to show itself. <laughs> and um uh, it's been having me with really bad night sweats, but I'm cold at the same time. I think I just, I think I told y'all this either in this vlog or the last vlog, but it just has me real, real cold. I'm like, I'm cold, but then I am also sweating really bad. My doctor did prescribe me some medicine for it, but I'm not taking medicine for what was natural. You know what I mean? Like if this is what my body's supposed to do to go through the next phase that it's supposed to go through then I'm just going to let it do its thing. Is it uncomfortable? Yes. But is it unbearable? No. So, it's just going to do what it's going to do. But we are just about dressed. I was going to wear my dad's sandals. I got on these, um, like, uh, wide leg joggers with this jean. I got this little inspo from uh, Pinterest. I was trying to figure out what to wear this shirt with because the shirt is so boxy and I saw a girl had on a similar shirt on Pinterest with some dad sandals and some wide leg joggers and I just thought the look was cute and I'm like it's perfect for you know traveling and we kind of like going from chilly to warm but it's supposed to be warm here but because we leaving this morning of course the weather hasn't really like warmed up so yeah but i got on this y'all would have seen this i'll show y'all what i get downstairs but i noticed my pants even though my pants are pulled up super high okay they are pulled up super high and rolled down and they still are <laughs> touching the ground so i'm gonna put on some like platform um gym shoes because I, we don't really stop that often like we don't stop a bunch of times when we're on the road but of course i know we're gonna have to stop so i just want to make sure that my pants are not touching the floor or the ground because i'm like that so yeah but i just wanted to come in and check in with y'all this morning um let me know what y'all did for easter this is what we're doing for easter this year it's kind of different but i'm not mad at it you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. But I'm just about to fix my edges right quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get loaded up. Go pick up my daughter's friend. Um, and then we are headed out. We're going to stop at probably Dunkin'. Definitely got to gas up. And then we out of here. So, y'all be safe. And I'll pick y'all back up in a little while. Bye. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am dressed. And as you can see, I had to change my shoes because my pants were too long and they still too long. My pants are up here, y'all, and rolled down. These, and they're just the regular pants. But yeah, this was the inspired look from Pinterest. And then I decided to put on my uh, Prada glasses instead of those other glasses because it kind of like just brought the cream out in the... um you know, from the pants and stuff. And then, y'all know, this is my old faithful travel bag. I love this bag. It's an old vintage Gucci bag, but I don't know. I just love this bag. It's very durable. Uh, it holds a lot, and it's not heavy. So, yeah, but we about to walk out the door. Just wanted to show y'all the OOTD of the day. Neat little travel set. And, um... Yeah, so I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey y'all, get your get your trash, Bailey. Hey y'all, we they made it to our first stop. Three hours later, I could even pick y'all up and talk to y'all because I'm driving and the traffic is crazy because they are doing construction everywhere. But we finally made it to Alabama 
<laughs> we at Arby's about to use the restroom. I'm not hungry. I probably just get like a Coca-Cola or something like that. Um, yeah, those are the girls. <laughs> My legs hurt getting out of that car this time. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Helping the old lady out. Alright, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll pick y'all back up in a minute. Baby mama, know how to take care of me. Give my baby problems. You're gonna regret every day. So I let her know. Gotta let her know. Came through the front door. I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you. Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you. Stresses all around us, these high ceilings And I need a baby, pressure and make diamonds I won't steal a baby, silent baby Hurts to see you crying, know you trying Ain't no lying baby, when I say I need you Greedy if I have to share you It was me that all along did you wrong Thinking that I made you beautiful and strong This toxicity, the death of me I fear the day you gone The most beautiful girl I've ever known Don't Give my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you We done finally made it into the room. Let me get y'all room tour. It's been a it's been a journey today, okay? All right, y'all. Let me get y'all room tour. All right, so got a laundry room. Well, this is the front door, a little hallway. And then you turn here and it has a laundry room here. It has a bedroom here. And this is a front facing bedroom and then it has a Jack and Jill so this one the bathroom access is there and this is the front that across the street is the actual other tower uh, with the pool and everything over there and then all of that is the mall but I'll show y'all that once we go outside but this your room girl yeah <laughs> And then here is the bathroom to the bedroom that I just showed y'all. Very cute and clean. Smell good in here too. And then you come back. 
And here is the kitchen area. Love the waterfall island here. And like I said, here's the kitchen. And this is an in unit, so so nice. And then here is another bedroom with a full bath to its own. So basically, we all got our own bathrooms and bedrooms. And my youngest daughter will be standing here, and then my my own my um, oldest daughter, not my oldest daughter, but my daughter's friend will be staying in the first um, bedroom that I showed y'all. But this is my daughter's view. And if you remember, on a vlog in the summertime, me and my husband actually stayed in that hotel right here this white one right there we stayed there the actually the last time we were here it was such a, a pretty view but this is such a pretty view out of this bedroom like look at this so this is cute and she has her own bedroom mm. so nice bathroom here everything is clean and smelling good <laughs> and here is another look at the kitchen a little bench area here a little drink situation here the table area love the kitchen love the living room of course i'm gonna save the best for last but we have like basically panoramic views from all angles like this is a good one like this is one to stay on the radar okay like if this one is not available we don't want it we don't want to come and then here is where me and my husband is going to be this is the master or the primary bedroom here with its own access to the balcony and then we have a walk-in closet here so nice so nice okay and then we have the master bath or the primary bath my husband probably was just looking under there <laughs> but um let me find the light for y'all Okay, so here is the primary. Okay, this is nice. Here is the shower. I hadn't even took my stuff off, y'all. I'm still walking around. I got my jacket in my hand, phone cover, just trying to get y'all a little something, something. But we love it yes it's so clean it's so nice mm. all right y'all so we i say the best for last so let me go ahead and take y'all out so we are on the ninth floor and what oh, voila and we got a wrap around well not a wrap around but it's like a longer because we're on the end unit and then here is downstairs there is the pool. These people out here in swimsuits. It's a little chilly now. I'm not getting in the water. I'll probably put my feet in the water and walk on the sand. It's warm enough for me to take my shoes off. But it's not warm enough for me to get nobody's water. Is you could buy like the Dole Whip ice creams and things like that. But you have to pay to walk to the end of the pier. People fish off of that and things like that. And then over here... You can't see but I, I was trying to tell y'all this hotel right here is where me and my husband stayed at the last time we were here which was so nice and then the outdoor mall is literally right there so I picked this spot so that um, they can be able to kind of like do their own thing and not be far but still have access to the things that are like happening but I love this unit. Like I, I, this is probably hands down one of the best units we've rented 
out of all the years that we've been coming to Panama City Beach, Florida, this is probably my favorite. I came out of the master bedroom, but then you have access to come back in through here. So this is so, so pretty. Yeah. What you think? Nice. This is the best one. Yeah. I think this is probably the best one. Yeah. Like, let's walk all the way in the kitchen, y'all. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All the information that you need. Let's see how clean. Because these people gave me the flux, okay? And when I say I had to fill out so much information, send pictures of driver's license and all kind of stuff for us to rent this unit, they're not playing. And I understand why, because this is a very, very, very nice unit. Like, so nice. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. Made it to Target. <laughs> I'm taking y'all on a on a journey with us. I'm taking y'all on a vacation with us. So we done made it to Target. Actually, my battery about to die. I'm on 20%, so I might not be able to take y'all too much more today. So I'm gonna take y'all in Target, but I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to pick y'all up for tomorrow. <laughs> I'll finish with just meet y'all back up here at the front. Oh, yeah, baby. What? Yeah. Oh, that's only it's only four hundred dollars. Yeah, just spend wisely, honey. This ain't for you to and be going in here um, oh, buying seventy-five dollar stuff and eighty-nine dollar stuff and. Ain't no mama nothing. Snacks, no, ain't, uh, no, ain't snacks. no nothing. Snacks. snacks. No, you better be specific with baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably better find me something. You see this? Excuse me. Is that a camera? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, no, you're fine. <laughs> Why I like this, y'all, with some black leggings or some black, um, some black I like this. I can see myself wearing this with like some black biker shorts. I don't know. I'm gonna walk around with it, y'all. We'll see. Yeah. So we are back from Target. We put everything up. Uh, we just went and got like waters, energy drinks. I got a couple outfits because they Target be having stuff that my Target don't be having. And I just wanted to show y'all the view at night. It is so pretty. Let me show y'all. It's so lively, like, look how pretty that pool look lit up. Now, this is across the street. This is not the beach view that we have from our particular unit, but this is standing in the outside of the door of our unit. So this is what our view look like at night, and it's so pretty. And these spring breakers are out, honey, okay? 
But me and my husband are on our way to go get to go downstairs and get something to eat. If we can't find anything downstairs, we either gonna order something or we're gonna walk over like that area right there because like I told y'all, all of that is called Pier Park and Pier Park is an outdoor mall, but of course there's like different restaurants and things like that you can eat at. Honestly, they don't really have too much over there though as far as food though, huh? And Pier Park, they don't really got a lot of food. They got like Margaritaville, Back Porch, Pompano Joe's, um, this Angry Tuna, and really that's about it. On the other side, it's like Panera Bread, Shoney's, Dickie's, Barbecue, Chipotle, things like that. But if you wanted to go have like a nice sit down dinner, um, it's a couple of places over there, but it's kind of busy. It's kind of busy tonight, but I feel like this is like the official first day of spring break for Atlanta. So in Atlanta, spring break, started yesterday so it's not as packed because i don't think people are coming today now there is people here now don't get me wrong it's it's getting riled up but um we've been coming here for over 10 years and this is not considered packed for spring break literally this whole little road because like i told y'all this road right here is like the main stretch from everything and we're on the end where everything is so this normally will be literally bumper to bumper music blasting horns beeping people riding golf course slingshots mopeds motorcycles you, you name it so for it to be a saturday night it is actually pretty calm and um we're enjoying it so like i said me and my husband are about to go grab some eats and drinks and uh See what we can get ourselves into. The girls are about to go. So we gave them an 11 o'clock curfew. And this is the reason why I picked this place. I think I told y'all that before because I wanted them to be able to kind of do their own thing. I got everybody location and they know the rules. <laughs> you gotta let teenagers be teenagers. You gotta trust that whatever you instilled in them that they will follow. You know what I mean? And just know that they are covered with the blood of Jesus. So, that is that. Like I said, we about to go downstairs and do our thing. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will holla at y'all in a, I'll holla at y'all tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause it's almost eight o'clock tonight and I don't want to have too many clips that I got to be putting together because it's not much. Y'all don't want to see us eat, you know, things like that. We'll start off fresh tomorrow with a new day, um, with new things to do and new happenings going on. And my camera is only on 11%, so I can't talk to y'all much longer anyway. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? Y'all have a good Saturday night, and tomorrow is Easter Sunday. So I'll pick y'all back up on Easter Sunday. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Today is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to you and your family. <laughs> I'm up. I've been up for a minute. I'm about to um, get myself together. I just brush my teeth, wash my face. Well, I haven't washed my face yet, but I brush my teeth. I'm about to, my husband was sitting here taking pictures of our shirts that we about to put on. I'm about to find an ironing board. And I'm about to get some clothes on. It's about maybe like 9.30. It's still fairly early, so I know the girls probably still in their sleep. But they went to sleep pretty early, so they may be up. But I know my oldest daughter, my, I know my daughter, she probably still sleep because that girl can sleep to the wee hours of the afternoon, okay? But it is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't pick y'all back up last night because we ended up, the only thing we ended up doing was going to to dinner. We walked to dinner to this restaurant called Pompano Joe's and the only thing I had was a grilled chicken Caesar salad because I ate, what did I eat on the road yesterday? I had a bacon and something croissant. I had I had one chicken finger from Arby's. So I guess I didn't eat too bad, but they didn't really have anything on the menu that I wanted like that. So I just grabbed this salad, but it is it was freezing last night too. But it is absolutely gorgeous this Easter Sunday morning. Um, let me turn y'all around so y'all could enjoy the view as well. This is what it's looking like. Look at him. He out there 
Can y'all see him? Y'all yeah, probably can't even tell. Let me show you. <laughs> y'all see him? He out there with his, uh, right there, with his metal detector. He out there looking for treasures. <laughs> But it, the water is absolutely gorgeous. People are out and on the beach. Both ways you look, they are they are out. So yeah, this is what we about to do. Like I said, I'm about to get my clothes on. Not sure what we gonna get into today, but whatever we. Oh, you want to go there? Okay. So we'll probably ride down to this place, which y'all been there before with us to Seaside and go eat at this um, lobster roll place that we ate at before. It was so, so good. I had a like a grilled cheese with bacon and lot. I don't know, but I, I remember that sandwich and I had it with a salad. I want that same meal today for lunch. <laughs> so we'll take y'all to Seaside. It's absolutely beautiful down there, y'all. So again, I just wanted to say good morning, start off the vlog and of course wish everyone a happy and safe Easter and I will pick y'all back up once we get to actually moving around. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I am all dressed. I don't have on nothing major. It's not even any um, full length mirrors around here. So I'm gonna show y'all best I can <laughs> what I got on. I just got on these um, like jogger shorts. I got on some, y'all see, got on my dad sandals and his shirt, my husband. We, we both got the same shirt, but it says, oh, oh, that's his side. Let me come over here. It says, I'm just out here walking by faith. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. So he, I got the white one and then he has on a black one. So that's the little OOTD. I hate these shorts sagging in a crotch like that but I guess they meant to fit a little oversized but I got them to fit a little bit more you know so they don't look as big and baggy but I had to do like a little something one tuck with my shirt because it just wasn't looking right but I don't know did y'all see these shoes here so let me show y'all my husband's shirt because he got on the same shirt and don't mind the wrong it just looks a mess show me your shirt boo <laughs> He couldn't wait, y'all. <laughs> Can y'all see it? He says the same thing. And they go his fit for the day. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we about to, the kids not dressed yet, but we are about to walk down to the mall. I want to check out their HM. I picked up a few things yesterday from Target that we done with that I saw in hours and then I didn't get it because they didn't have my size. So luckily I found one of them I might take back though because I'm not really into like crop jackets because I got a little fupa down there and I don't be trying to show it. So I don't know. But nonetheless we about to walk down to the mall area. It's like 10 30 and then We'll be going to Seaside for lunch, so we get the kids a little time to, you know, get up, get dressed, and move around slowly because that's what we're doing. We're not moving too fast. We're just taking it easy. So, yeah, just wanted to check in, let y'all know we're about to get out here in these streets, and I will see y'all in the streets, okay? In the PCB streets. Bye, y'all. <laughs> it's so pretty out here. It's, the weather is perfect y'all yesterday it was freezing last night but today 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 easter sunday i don't know i just told my husband i brought my swimming suit at first i was like i'm not gonna get in the water because i didn't think it would be warm enough but it is at least 80 degrees and like a warm wind it feels amazing it's not the humidity is not high that's what's making it feel good huh i just thought about that feels good and it feel good to be walking too I feel good like getting up and going for a walk versus always getting in the car it feels good so all right y'all I'm talking y'all ears off I'd have been picking up this camera back and forth every little few minutes so I'll see y'all later bye <laughs>
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Saturday. The day after eat. I'm talking about today Saturday. Today is Monday. I'm tripping. Today is Monday after Easter. The girl's still in their sleep, so I'm kind of like not talking my loudest, okay? But me and my husband are up and we are dressed. I just got on this little set right here with my um with my little Tory Birch. Can y'all see them? With my little old <laughs> Tory Birch slides. But we're about to go and walk on the beach this morning. It's kind of cloudy, but it's it's warm. It's like a warm, coolish air or wind. I don't know how to really describe it, but it feels good outside. It's not too cold and it's not hot. So perfect weather. It's a little cloudy, a little overcast, but that's fine. But I just wanted to come in and start the vlog off this morning. I'll take y'all down to the, to the beach with us. I sat down at the bar yesterday. I make these. Uh, there, were, there were a couple, two ladies. They had the most extraordinary stories. And uh, what they did for a living was just so funny to me. And to look at them, you just would have never known. One of them was a DJ, like a popular DJ. And they're... I think they both were either in their late 50s or early 60s, but she did not look like a DJ. Like, she looked like just like somebody grandma. Like, she did not look like a DJ. And then the other lady, which was, I guess, like their, you know, husband, not husband and wife, but, you know, married, because she said that they, well, they said that they've been together for 23 years. And the other lady was a freaking male impersonator performer on a cruise ship. Like, and she was showing me pictures and videos. <laughs> Basically, they like invited me to come to their house. They say, that, well, we just meet people and, you know, we invite them to our house. When we, if you know, we feel the vibe. They live in Peoria, Chicago, Peoria, Illinois. I mean, they were just like so, so freaking nice. Like, that's why you can never judge a book by its cover because I, first of all, would have even thought that they would even be that way. I mean, we sat there and had drinks. They bought me a drink. We, I mean, we just had a really, really good, I had a good time with them because my husband had left me and went back to the room and take him a nap and then the girls were just doing their own thing. So I enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. All right, y'all about to grab me a Celsius and then we about to head out the door and go take us a little walk on the beach this morning, get some sand between our toes, okay? All right, y'all, see y'all downstairs at the beach. All right, y'all, we made it out here to the sand in our toes okay feels amazing oh so exhilarating <laughs> i'm waiting on my husband he's um trying to see if he can rent us some beach chairs and of course y'all know what i did this morning rub sunscreen in my freaking eye like i do every day and makes my eyes water and things so that's why i'm looking crazy but let me turn y'all around so y'all can be at the beach with me <laughs> Toes in the sand. Oh, he said he's got that filthy rich all the way over there. There, there she's <laughs> And that's the hotel we're staying in. We're somewhere over there on the on the end over there. And I wanted to stay at that place over there. You probably can't see it, but it's new. It's called the Hyatt Place. It's new. So, but yeah, y'all, we got our feet in the sand. This the sand is like so fine. It's white. Love it. Oh, okay. You won't get <laughs> And that's not my fault. <laughs> that's I want to go down. You want to see? You want to see where it is? Is that what you're trying to see? Yeah.
He said 199. Yeah, 199. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Good morning. I should have grabbed a towel to sit on here. It's probably kind of wet. Like this. Oh, my eyes are watery so bad. for me however I was able to snag two cardigans that they had for 70% off y'all I got these two cardigans for 23 oh, these sweaters together were 26 and 90 70% off this is the first one which I thought was so cute I like the pockets because the pockets were just a solid white and I'm planning on wearing this with, I got a black tennis skirt that I got from um, H&M, I believe. Yeah, I got it from H&M. So I plan on wearing that with this with just like a little black tank underneath. I think that would be really, really cute. And it's very, very lightweight. So it's perfect for the spring. Y'all, my husband on the other side of the camera doing funny stuff trying to make me laugh and distract me and then i also picked up this part again this one is a little heavier so i probably will wait until the weather gets more you know a little cooler it's not for spring but it's this argot pattern but i just love the colors like it's navy blue beige and gray and then this is what it looks like in the back i thought this was cute and again, they both were regularly, well, this one was regularly $39 and it was 70% off. So happy to snag this and it fits oversized. So this would be cute to wear with like leggings, maybe some navy blue leggings. And, <laughs> and then lastly, I picked up from Old Navy because this was yesterday on Easter and it wasn't much open. So... Plus, I keep saying I don't need anything, but I'm just really just buying like basic stuff. 
but I bought this little black tank to go up under that black and white stripe cardigan that I plan on wearing with my tennis skirt. So I just got this, it was only 10 bucks. I picked up this dress. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this dress or not because I'm gonna have to wear a bra and I don't really like wearing strapless bras, but it's just like a long maxi dress. But what drew me to it is it had like this, like, like the sides kind of come out. So it flares out at the bottom and it gives like the illusion of a, more hourglass versus it being just a straight up and down kind of like maxi dress. So I thought that was cute if you can kind of tell and see how it's made. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep this because it was $39 and I feel like $39 for just a basic kind of black dress. But again, like you can see the little detail in here on the side, like this little area right here where this, <laughs> I guess this is what a seam where it kind of comes out, but it flares out at the bottom. So I'm gonna see what it looks like on, and then that'll, of course, give me my final decision of whether or not I'm gonna keep it. It's Old Navy at home, so I'm not really pressed about having to take it back to the Old Navy here because I can always do that at home. So that's all I picked up. I really wanted to go to Forever 21 yesterday, which was Easter, but of course they didn't, I don't even know if they opened. We were there, they said they were gonna open at 12. Um, we was there till after 12. They didn't open and then we didn't go back. So, yeah. All right, y'all. I will see y'all in a minute. Bye. Hey, y'all. <laughs> back in the room, chilling on the patio. Yes, I said patio, the patio. <laughs> but <clears throat> I wanted to come in and probably end the vlog because we're not doing too much of anything other than chilling. My daughter is gone with her friends. Um, some of her other friends came down and it's one of their birthdays. So um, his mom took them to breakfast and they're going to hang out today. So me and my husband just chilling. We, we, Y'all saw we were just sitting on the beach. We rented those beach chairs. Well, actually the beach chair rental was part of the rental of the Airbnb that we got. So we didn't have to pay for it. But again, I just wanted to properly come in and close the vlog out and tell you all thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching also if you have not subscribed and my channel is your vibe i love to have you so go ahead hit that subscribe button so you can be in on all the things that gabby got going on okay all right we all enjoy again thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all on the next one bye y'all <laughs>